So here we have the end zone that we can play actually at the Gamescom. So why is there so many GT characters in here? <laughs> <laughs> because we know that lots of fans love GT as well. Ooh. And that's why in Zero's <laughs> one we had GT character and the season pass. But now we want to show them that some of them are in the game currently. So they will be in the game from G1. So this isn't necessarily canon anymore, correct? Because GT isn't canon. But to be fair, I guess none of the movies are canon as well in Dragon Ball Universe. Right, right. So this is just every character from every walk of life that we've seen in Dragon Ball. Yeah, I mean, of course, we are focusing on Dragon Ball Z. That's the main series. A lot of people know it. But we are trying also to bring some characters from the different series movies uh, because we still have fans of that. Uh -huh. So, And there are some cool characters from those series. So that's why we want them in the game. So let's go into it. What is different from Xenoverse 1 to Xenoverse 2? OK, so today I think we'll be able to show you the difference in between the gameplay. Yeah. Because lots of things have been improved. We know that we, there were some weaknesses in Xenoverse 1. The players had some feedbacks on it. So that's why in Xenoverse 2 we want to show them that the gameplay has been a lot improved. It's a lot more faster. Uh, you will see then just after that, it's 60 FPS. It's faster, smoother. But of course, the online features have been improved a lot. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what we are trying to do is to let the players play the game at least for one year. We want them to enjoy the game for one year online. That's what the loading Xenoverse wants. So that's why we want to do that and focus on the online features for Xenoverse 2. All right, well, let's, let's check out the gameplay. Why not? Yeah, maybe we should play with new characters in the game. Yeah, that's new. we have a lot of new characters that were not in Xenoverse 1, including this demo. So I will be playing Android 16. OK. And I'll try well, uh, Chalema. Yeah, okay. characters from movies. Yeah, this one was really awaited. So when we announced it at Japan Expo, we announced it with Super Gogeta, and they loved it. Yeah. yeah. And there's something. Gogeta's pretty good. I like Gogeta over Vegeta, <laughs> personally. Ah, right. <laughs> there's something new here as well. When you play local now, you have more than one stage. You will be yes. able to choose among several stages, which oh. wasn't the case in Xenoverse mm -hmm. One. Yeah. I mean, we know a lot of people are playing online, of course, but they still want to play with their friends at home. Mm -hmm. So, of course, that will be available in Xenoverse 2. So this time, yeah, Android 16 versus Janet, but that would be a good fight, I guess. Yeah, maybe tough for you, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you can see it, but yeah, it's a lot more faster than Xenoverse 1, for sure. Mainly because of the 60 FPS. I love the way the Gen M is transport, teleporting. Yeah, the, the mobility in the game seems to be a lot smoother, just moving around the map. Right, yeah. it's easier, I mean, to target your enemy, but also to rush toward your enemy. There is a new dash now that has been implemented, so you can dash toward the enemy more easier than the Xenoverse one. But also there is something cool that... Are, they the, are these the Japanese voices? Yes. Okay, I was about to say, he sounds like Bruce Lee. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's the, of course, Japanese voice is available for sure. And the English one as well. Okay. Well, let's show some cool. Ah. So, of course, teleportation is very important in this game, so you have to be careful of your key and the stamina that you have. But there is a new way also to break the stamina of your enemy, so you can break it and then do some more combos. So out of all the changes that's come through Xenoverse 2, what do you think is probably the most noticeable that fans are going to really like? What have fans been asking for? I think the first thing that they were asking for is more things to do online. Uh -huh. Because they, that's what they enjoy in Xenoverse 1. That was the first game of Dragon Ball that you can enjoy a lot online. But they want more. They always want more. Mm -hmm. And uh, this time, uh, we included more quest, but you also can play in the huge city that is Golden City. So it's even bigger than the, um, than the hub that we had on Xenoverse 1. And we want them to enjoy that. And of course, we also said that we will support the game after the launch. So they will be able to have new updates after the launch, because we want them to enjoy for one year at least. So mm -hmm. that's why. So are your updates going to be focused on new characters, or is it going to be content and like maybe aesthetics like maps and skins? So we already announced, I mean, we will have a season pass. So on the season pass, of course, we will focus on the huge content, so quest characters, um, costumes, accessories that you can get. But for the free update, what we want is as the feedbacks to the, uh, 
to, to the players so we can do the free updates and do some changes in the game that they want mm -hmm. and include some new content that they, could, they may want to. So that's what we are waiting. And that's what we are trying to do for the update. So ever since I've been playing Dragon Ball Z games, all the way back from like Budokai to Tenkachi 3, the story's been a really big aspect of the game. Yeah. Is that something that you guys focus on here? And how do you adapt? Because now Dragon Ball Super is, is official, right? It's taken over the canon universe. Right, Dragon Ball Super, yes. Um, I mean, do you not like Super? I, I love it, of okay, course I love it. Sweet. No, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, the new arc with Trunks is really huge. I mean, 